everyone. This is the Xinhua Live Show. I'm Zhu Xiao from Xinhua News Agency. There is a shining star in hot summer, and no one can deny its popularity. It's spicy, crispy, tasty, and its name is crayfish, a little lobster in Chinese. But have you ever thought about how are these crayfish feeding and farmed? Today we are going to explore the stories behind them. Now I am at Jinghu Lake of Huayan City in East China's Jiangsu Province. What we have heard before is the local traditional dance performance with playing the flute. Except from this traditional cultural performance, Jinghu is rich in crayfish because it enjoys a very favorable natural conditions. About these natural conditions, today I will introduce someone who is very familiar with crayfish scene, but she is not native and her name is Julia. Hello, I'm Julia. Hello, Julia. Can you give us a brief introduction of Jinghu County, especially why is this place so suitable for crayfish farming? Yes, uh, the county is located in the middle mm. of Jiangsu province. Yes. It is surrounded by three lakes, Gaoyu Lake, Baoying Lake, and the White Horse Lake. Yes. The Huai River, flows through the whole county. Mm. And the, the water surface covers one third mm. of the total area. Mm. So the, the environment is very ecological mm. and the, the water quality is very good. And because of its uh, beautiful natural views mm. and uh, rich resources, mm. it is called a land of fish and rice. Oh, and a pro mm. on the Huan River. Okay. Julie, I believe most of the audience have tasted the crayfish. Just like me, I have tasted the garlic flavored crayfish or boiled crayfish. But I know that actually there are many newly developed flavors of crayfish in Jinghu. So can you introduce some of them to the audience? Yes. So mashed garlic and the certain spices are most popular mm -hmm. among consumers. Yes. But we also develop, developed uh, uh, many new dishes mm. to satisfy different groups, mm. uh, like egg mm. yolk egg for, egg oh. yolk for mm. kids, mm. Mm. Oh. so it's a kind of uh, uh, preserved vegetable yes. uh. for people from south because oh. it's a little bit of sweet. Oh, it's true. And uh, uh, cordyceps. Mm. For, uh, for, for aged people mm. because it's very nutritious mm. and uh, uh, black pepper mm. curry mm. there for for your friends okay uh, I have heard that when you eat a crayfish there are many directions that we should follow such as pull out the shell or touch the body of the crayfish but I don't really know the meaning of them so can you explain them yes uh, so there is a very interesting poem. Yes. It will give you directions how to eat the crayfish. Um, like take your hand, <laughs> that really? is take yeah. take the claw, mm. and uh, give you a gentle kiss. Gentle this kiss. is have a tasting. Mm, tasting. And uh, raise the raise your red lid. Mm. Red lid is the head. Mm. And take off your red belly belly band. Mm. Belly band is the belly. Uh, belly and uh, yeah. um, pull down your uh, your red waistband. So waistband is the tail. Mm. And finally, mm. let's enjoy. Okay, let's enjoy. And uh, since the crayfish in Jinghu is of so high quality, so I am I'm very curious about what's the value, output value, and the price of crayfish in Jinghu County. Yes, the crayfish industry is very important in the county, and uh, the total aquaculture area is over 160 million square meters. Mm. The annual output mm. is about uh, 10,000 tons, mm. and uh, that makes an, an uh, annual output value mm. of 400 million yuan. 400 million. Yeah. So mm. the price differs from different seasons, mm. but uh, the, because of its high quality, mm. the crayfish from Jinghu is always 10 yuan mm. 
mm. higher per kilogram oh, than, really? than crayfish from other places. Okay, okay, thank you, Julie. After having a basic information and knowledge of crayfish in Jinghu County, I have heard that Julie will take us to see some breeding bases in Jinghu County, right? Yes, today I will show you two different breeding bases. Mm. One is traditional, mm. the other is modern. Oh, really? So why just let's go and have a look? Yes, let's go. Okay. Hello everyone, after to know the basic information of Jinghu County, we are going to see how were crayfish is filmed and farmed in this place. Now, I am at one of the largest breeding bases in Jinghu County. Let's look at this place. The water is so clean and tidy, and there are so many green plums around the pond, which looks like a scenic spot. So, yes. Julie, can you give us a brief introduction of this place? Okay. So this breeding base mm. is founded in year 2011, so it is eight years old. The total area of this breeding base is about three million square meters. And these two ponds next to us, this pond 51 and the pond 52, they are about 60,000 square meters. So where does the water from come from? Because the water looks so clean. The water comes directly from the Huai River. The water quality is really good because it's almost without any pollution. Mm. We also uh, use different fogs oh. every day to purify the water. So the crayfish really have a very uh, unpolluted environment. Exactly. Yeah. Julie, uh, what's the process of feeding and farming this crayfish? Such like uh, how long will the process last? The process lasts 50 days, including removing some of the mm. water weeds, yes. disinfection, mm. releasing seedlings, mm. feeding mm. and fishing. Oh, okay. Since you have, you, you have referred to the last part of the process is fishing. So I really also want to ask what is the process of fishing and how many days will it take? Yes, it all depends how many baskets do you put in one pond. Mm. If you put 60 baskets in one pond, mm. you can fish for only four to five days. Mm. But if you only put 20 baskets in one pond, mm. you can fish for one month. Okay, I know. So, uh, Julie, I think most of the audience want to see how was uh, uh, how are the crayfish be farmed and uh, fished. So, can you help us to ask the farmer come here? Okay, I will ask the farmer to come mm. here. 师父,过来一下好吗? Okay, okay. Come here! <laughs> Now the fish farmer is to export to come here and uh, will uh, show his crayfish. Yes. So these are the baskets for fishing crayfish. Yes, these are baskets with big holes. Mm. We used to use baskets with smaller holes mm. because um, uh, we use this um, big hole mm. baskets mm in order to catch bigger crayfish. Oh. Bigger crayfish mm. will occupy too much resource mm. in the water mm. and uh, mm. so small crayfish mm. cannot uh, grow. Oh, okay, I get it. Yes. So crayfish is coming over. Just let's look at this. The crayfish is so vivid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they work together and uh, hey, Julie, how to recognize them? Uh, so. Uh, a good quality crayfish mm. is usually about a seven mm. centimeter mm. long, mm. and uh, mm. you, when you look outside, it's mm. shining, mm. and the color mm. is a beautiful dark green, mm. and uh, the meat is plump. The shell is very smooth. Mm. You can touch it. Okay, 师傅，麻烦您把盆拿到这里来好吗？ 
Judy is asking the farmer to take the red top on the road so we can take a close observation of this crayfish. Oh, there are so many crayfish in this top. Yes, they're beautiful. Yes, the crayfish is so active and they jump and yes, <laughs> jump <laughs> and down. So it's a very good quality crayfish. Really? How, yeah. how do you recognize them? So it's about seven centimeter mm. long and uh, the outside is shiny yeah. and it shows a beautiful color mm. of dark green mm. and uh, when you, <laughs> when you <laughs> touch care. it mm. the shell is really very smooth really i i test this part yes this part <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's uh, a smooth yes, right and the meat is very plump oh okay so actually i i find that over there there are many mud down so what's the function of them the function of the um, soil mm. m uh, dam mm. is uh, very special, right? Yes, mm. m many people don't know mm. that uh, the crayfish cultivation mm. can only be carried out mm. three seasons. Oh. That is spring, mm. summer mm. and mm. autumn, mm. but in winter mm. the crayfish will need a rest. Mm. So they take a winter sleep. Mm. And during their winter sleep, mm. this soil dam mm. will give nutrition to the crayfish. Okay, so you mean that the crayfish needs to take a rest in winter? Yes. So <laughs> that's very special. Yeah. So uh, how uh, I really want to know, uh, are the farmers, they working here every day? Yes. What's the daily life of them? Yes, they work every day. Mm. So the work starts mm. from 4 o'clock mm. early in the morning. Mm. Uh, besides fishing, mm. they also feed the crayfish twice, mm, twice. a day. Mm. One in the morning, mm. the other mm. in the evening. Mm. And there are also other tasks mm. like uh, remove, uh, like transplanting mm. uh, some of the water glass. Mm. So their work is also very busy. Oh. Busy. Yes, mm. they are very busy. Okay. Uh, usually, we uh, we just know how to eat and peel the crayfish, but uh, we don't know that the process of the crayfish is so com uh, the process of feeding and farming the cray crayfish is so complicated and demanding. Yes. Uh, especially these workers, they have to work from dawn to night every day. So uh, when we eat this delicious crayfish, we cannot forget their forget their work. Yes. Okay. Uh, except for this trip traditional farmer, uh, farmer breeding base, we are going to see another scientific way of breeding base. So let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello everyone, after seeing and uh, knowing the traditional way of feeding crayfish, now we are in a very special power, solo power station where there are many solo panels up above the water and there are also some crayfishes under the water. So Julie, can you give us a brief introduction of this power station? Uh, such like how many square meters does this power station cover? So this solar power station started in 2015. The total area covers 800,000 square meters. Mm. There are altogether more than 100,000 mm. solar panels mm. here. Yes. I, I have heard that this power station not used not only used for generating electricity but also can feed the crayfishes. So could you tell me how does this device work? Yeah, this is a very unique system. Uh, the two industries, mm. the solar energy industry and the crayfish culture industry, mm. they are combined perfectly. Mm. Above water, mm. we generate electricity mm. by solar panels. Mm. Underwater, mm. we mm. culture crayfish. Mm. So is there any advantage of combining these solar panels with feeding crayfishes under the water? Yes, there are at least three advantages. Mm. First, we can make a full use of the water resource. Mm. Second, mm. The solar panel can block the sunlight, oh, block the sunlight. and reduce mm. the temperature of the water. Mm. So uh, this is very good for the mm. crayfish to grow. Mm. And uh, 
the survival rate of the crayfish is mm. increased. Mm. Okay. And the mm. third, mm. Um, so because the land is double used, mm. so mm. the farmers mm. only have to pay maybe one third of the rental fee. Mm. Mm. In this way, mm. the cost is mm. reduced massively mm. and the profit mm. is much higher. Oh. Julie? Uh, how much electricity generated from this solar power station? Yes, the daily output of the electricity is 150,000 kilowatt. Mm. And the annual output of the electricity can mm. supply 20,000 families. Mm. Uh, and uh, how many people work for this station? Because I think it's very smart and high, with high technology. Yes, you look, this area is, is mm. huge, mm. but it's almost mm. full automation. Mm. We only employ mm. seven to eight pe people to manage this big area. Oh, okay, got it. So it seems that this high technology way of combining generating electricity as well as feeding the crayfish can not only save the coast, but also can preserve our environment so as to promote the sustainable development of our society. Hello everyone, after seeing two ways of farming crayfish in Jinghu County, I can feel that the traditional agriculture actually has went underwent an obvious transformation with high technology and new business borders. So Julie, I'm very curious about how does Jinghu promote their crayfish industry? Yes, the crayfish industry is a real business card for the county. Mm -hmm. The local government uh, also take a lot of uh, measures to promote this industry. Uh, first, building the Jinghu crayfish brand. Yes. Uh, mashed garlic crayfish has made the Jinghu famous all over the country. Mm. Second, uh, strengthening promotion. Mm. Uh, there are a lot of uh, different uh, promotion activities mm. like uh, video, uh, advertising videos mm. like we are having now mm. and uh, uh, press conference and uh, like uh, promotion meetings yes. and the third financial support. Yes. So there are different policies to support the farmers. Okay, thank you, Julie. I have what I have heard Julie said. I can feel that the development of crayfish in Jinghu actually promoted the related devel industrial development, such as fishing, uh, processing, storing, logistics, and so on. And there are about eight thousand people engaged in this industry, which can help more people get richer. But the environment is preserved sustainably because this industry is ecological. So, if you are a big fan of crayfish, if you are interested in crayfish, why don't you come here and have a test? Okay, that's the end of live show, and I hope that you have enjoyed it. See you next time. So, welcome to Jinghu. Goodbye. Bye-bye.